Hi, in this video, we will learn how to compute percentiles. Assume we are provided with the following data set. Whenever we work with percentiles, the very first step is to rewrite all the numbers in ascending order from the lowest to highest value. So we've done that here. Problem one states, find the percentile of 229. Whenever we have to find a percentile, we apply this formula. P is equal to the number of values below X. X is simply the data value, plus 0.5 divided by N. N is the number of data values and then times 100. So X is 229. The number of values below 229 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're ready to calculate P, right? So the number of values below X is 6 plus 0.5. N is 10 data values. N is simply the number of given data values. 6 plus 0.5 is 6.5. Divided by 10 is 0.65 times 100, 65. Thus, 229 is in the 65th percentile. The second problem is asking, what value is in the 25th percentile? We have to compute N times P over 100. This is called C. Think of C as counting how many spaces we have to count. N is 10 because we have 10 data values. P is 25. We're given the 25th percentile. 10 times 25 is 250 divided by 100, 2.5. Now, since C is not a whole number, we will round C upwards to the next whole number. C rounds up to three. So we count three spaces from the beginning, one, two, three. That means that 172 is in the 25th percentile. Now for problem three, we want to know what value is in the 50th percentile. In this case, N is still 10, but P is 50. So we calculate C. 10 times 50 is 500, divided by 100 is 5. C is now a whole number. So when C is a whole number, we have to count five spaces, one, two, three, four, five, plus one more space, and find the midpoint of the two data values. So we have, and finding the midpoint, we have to add 217 plus 221 and divide by 2. So 438 divided by 2 is 219. Thus 219 is in the 50th percentile. So keep in mind, there's two different processes when using C. If C is not a whole number, you round and then you count to get to the data value X. But if C is a whole number, like this example here, you have to count over the number of spaces of C and one more and find the midpoint of the two values. Thanks for watching this video.